What is up, everybody? And happy anytime you're listening to this excellent, what's going to be an excellent cartridge podcast. Jim, to my right, welcome back, uh, Ryan. Always love having you here. Thank you, Mark. Jim. Occasionally, people write in, and and they'll that they'll happens. make they'll make Sometimes. a they'll make a note, they'll make a comment, they'll make a request. Oftentimes, that request is for a specific cartridge for Ryan to uh, enlighten us about. Uh, one person has written in a lot of times about the same cartridge. If you're listening right now, here it is. We're going to talk about the six arc. Do we have the name? Advanced Rival the, Cartridge. We don't have the name? I forgot it. Oh. We don't have the name. Well, well make yourself known. People uh, <laughs> people like their anonymity. Maybe we'll like um, yeah. Photoshop it in, in or something like that. In typical Mark fashion, this is Mark Boardman from Vortex. Identify yourself. <laughs> um. <laughs> Ryan, what's going on with this thing? This thing's, you know, talk about, you know, we're talking about other cartridges came on the scene hot. This one seems to be gaining quite a bit of momentum. This is a cool cartridge. This is one that I'm flirting with. More so than the other week I when I was know. asking you about it. I don't know. Um Flirting with it takes you a long time to really actually date a cartridge. I've it, noticed it seems to flirt with a lot, but yeah. Um, so okay, when this was brought out, it came on the scene with a couple other cartridges that were claiming to do some other things. Um, that this cartridge was going to do, we're looking at small cases, optimized case dimensions, smaller projectiles generally higher BCs, modest velocities, super efficient cartridges. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them to be paired in the AR platform to accomplish things that very typically we wouldn't be doing with an AR, like 1,000, 1,200 yards. Right. Yeah. Mm. Um, this is the one of, of the few that came out at, at about that time or, or near that time that I lifted my eyebrow in not suspect, but curiosity. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because it comes from a cartridge that I really like, which is six five Grendel. Oh, Tommy! There's a guy out there, Tommy Leatherberry. Kind of, kind of, out there, he's in here. He's, he's downstairs. In here. He works for us, but he also listens to a lot of podcasts. Yeah, he's, he's our gonna, biggest fan. He's gonna glow when he hears Ryan say that. Yeah, so it's kind of it's, call him Tommy Grendel. I shouldn't say it comes from a six five Grendel because it's its own thing. Um, the the brilliant ballisticians at Hornady spun this one up as a joint venture with a couple of groups that were looking for a solution to a couple of problems that existed. And so they used case dimensions similar to that of the Grendel to make the six arc. Okay. Um, what you just described there, Ryan, and I don't even know what it is. I, when I was trying to do some research on it, it says a notable DOD entity. Yeah. So cool cartridge. Um, Ruben Allison, a member of the Vortex mm -hmm. podcast team sometimes, and, and uh, one of the guys on our customer engagement group, shot a PRS match with this in a bolt gun. And that lit a big fire under me, big time. Yeah, because you like bolt guns. I do. Right? You don't like gas guns. I do. I wanted a, a 6.5 Grendel bolt gun forever. Um, and then it just has not come to fruition in the, in the form I want. Um, and the ARC is probably the better option anyway and is coming to fruition faster than I was anticipating and making me uncomfortable because maybe I want to buy one. But so maybe you're not flirting anymore? No. You well, know. are you seeing each other? No, no, I don't have dyes. Yeah, Grendel dyes, but I don't have these. Now, you do you buy the dyes before the gun? Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> you, um, usually, that solidifies my position. If uh, <laughs> if you when you buy something or you have interest in something, generally speaking, I mean, yeah. it's been a minute since you've been like you know Ryan Muckner, competitive shooter. You usually just buy it to go hunting with. Are yeah. you going to go hunting with this? Yeah. All right. What bullet are you going to be using? Mm, probably an 80 grain Barnes TTSX. Yeah? Yeah. And w the only reason that I haven't jumped on this is because all the factory ammo for it thus far, the majority of factory ammo for it, is high BC, matchy type profile bullets. Real like thin jacketed stuff. And yeah. And then like the chamberings available from barrel manufacturers are, are set up to accommodate those projectiles. And there's nothing wrong with those. I just don't hunt with those kinds of bullets. Right. Um, I prefer something like that 80 grain barns and this i'm guessing is going to be like a pronghorn gun for you pronghorn mule deer yeah. real lightweight i have this concept of the stick rifle as i call it I, I didn't coin that somebody else did sometime i'm sure i'm talking super tiny mega lightweight like backpack rifle like put it in the spotting scope sleeve mm, um, does it also turn into a fishing pole that's a great idea oh like the Popeil pocket fisherman 
Or the uh, twenty two survival rifle that I found online oh. one time. I think some people I like that. I guess, yeah, because of the Popeel Pocket Fisherman, it doesn't like, it's not a rifle as well. Oh, got it. But it is um, fishing pole. It is. Right, now you're talking about, you know, like a super lightweight, you know, long range mm-hmm. cartridge, good for probably, I'd say maybe like, yeah, I'm speculating, like medium sized game. Yeah. Um, from what I hear with this thing, uh, recoil, very minimal. Zip. So if you are maybe hunting by yourself, maybe you're uh, taking uh, a shot that you're comfortable with that's maybe a little bit longer range. One thing that I personally find difficult and actually will kind of like a, you know, governor myself perhaps on a longer range shot with a higher recoiling rifle if I'm not hunting with somebody who can help me spot Mm -hmm. because knowing what happened after the shot is very, 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 very important. Mm. Um, This might allow you to spot your impact. I've never, ever in my entire life put that into perspective until just now. What do you mean? Like I've you, never, ne- you hadn't thought about that? No, never. Well, because you don't You'd shoot be stuff watch, that that's yeah. far away. Well, See, Mark shoots BRS now. Oh, big so BRS Mark guy. big time yeah. about follow through and watching yeah. his Three, shot. 300 yards is a long ways away. And many times shooting larger caliber rifles, I've lost sight of impact at 300 yards. Sure. Yeah. Right. So you're just, you're relying solely on the sound of the thwomp. Yep. Yep. I've been with you guys and I didn't hear the thwomp. I know. I remember that. Yeah. It was. We all thought you had him. We saw the donkey kick of that deer. We saw all the signs, and you just you were sitting there, just dejected, saying, "I didn't hear the right thwomp." Yeah, like, I know, but I was like, "The thing coming like from a, a guy. He was four hundred yards away. Ryan can't even hear his own name when you're standing twenty well, yards from him inside." I didn't hear anything after the brakes off those. You know what I mean? I was like, "I don't know." I mean, I probably wasn't going to hear it, but it's, anyway, it's we didn't fun. hit that yeah. deer. This is a cool cartridge, though. Super cute case. When you hold it in your hand, you're like, "Man, is that adorable." And it just puts up numbers. Working again, letting the, letting the case do the work for you, mm-hmm. um, pressure and efficiency. I tell you what, we we talked about like you know the thirty out six earlier on in this special, and mm-hmm. now we're talking you know about and, and we mentioned how the thirty out six is absolutely still completely viable, but nowadays you got these all modern things, and the efficiency is is pretty wild. Mm-hmm. Looking at some bullet selections here, Ryan, you were talking about that earlier. These are these are from Horny. We're uh, looking at a uh, one hundred and five grain mm-hmm. uh, boat tail hollow point. Mm-hmm. Uh, a 108 grain ELD match, mm-hmm. and then a 103 ELD X precision hunter. Mm-hmm. So yeah, all pretty petite, high BC, you know, six millimeter bullets. There, it is a cute cartridge. My goodness, what? Um, I wish we so, had one here. Yeah. Do you compare this to the 65 Grendel, or do you compare it to anything really? Aside from, there's so many weird, weird little wildcats it's, within that precision area. The closest. Would be like the Grendel, although the Grendel is not enjoying the success that the Ark is in that game. But like 6GT, um, what's that other one everybody's out? The 6BRX, uh, BR, um, yep. and, and similar deviations off of that case. Yeah, not, uh, not six deviants. Comets. Yep. So At. little, little, little cartridges, highly efficient cartridges, low recoil. Modest but not anemic velocities. Um, we Mike Tassel, who's a big PRS guy, uh, and I were were looking at kind of the smattering of six millimeter options. He does not share my interest in running like the eighty grain Barnes right. or, or similar projectile. You know, something heavily bonded for hunting. Um, he looks at solely the the high BC projectiles um, mm-hmm. for what he's doing for it, and he again is shooting PRS. Um, yeah, six dasher. That was the word I was looking for. By the way, mm-hmm. um, he's got a dasher inbound right now. So we're we're talking about all these things and what we can do with them, and, and we're looking for low data in projectile weight classes similar to what I'm after, and it, it looks very promising at three thousand feet per second, plus minus a little bit depending. Oh, wow. on, yeah, yeah, depending on which way you go with this. Yeah. And so when you stack that up against like a very popular cartridge like a two forty three. Ah, yes. I'm glad you made that comparison. I was about to. There isn't a hell of a lot that's left on the table i mean there is but there should be because we're looking at you know 35 grains of powder versus 48 grains of powder and we're getting within a couple hundred feet of second of each other mm, and gotcha when when again when i'm looking at this cartridge for what i want to do with it as a hunting cartridge and the distances that i personally am comfortable with engaging game it checks all the boxes yeah mm-hmm. and it's this super tiny little petite thing to ruben's point to run this cartridge in a PRS match. One, he had ammo. 
two, he knew it was a stellar cartridge running it in gas guns. Um, in the bolt gun, he said it was just amazing. He, said yeah. he, he pulled the trigger. I was watching him shoot a video of it. He was on a barricade, and he's pulling the trigger, and I didn't have my audio on my phone, and it looked like he was just cycling cases right. no on the gun. Yeah, zero movement of the gun. 20-some pound rifle, but yeah, it was stellar in but a bolt know, gun. You know what's funny is the two forty three. so I was, I'm glad you made because I was about to make that comparison, ask you your thoughts yeah. between this and the two forty three. because the two forty three people think, oh, yeah, hunting, you know, yep. like, great. And then Mark and I, or Mark, you mentioned it earlier, and we were kind of talking about this. How you know? Oh yeah, nice, nice kids cartridge, cool. You know, uh, this probably, which I don't think. No, exactly. Yeah. We we don't think that. Um, this probably recoils even less. Yeah, well, it's a cuter, littler thing. Yep. But I don't think people are gonna have like I, thus far. I haven't heard anybody refer to the six arc as like, oh, that's cute. Like, yeah, you know, you're getting that for like your twelve year old for the first hunt. Not yet, but it's possible. It could be, but also yeah. like think about that. It would be pretty sweet. Yes. Oh, it'd be perfect for a kid. Because I mean, we had at the uh, we had a local come in to sight in their rifle, and they had their youngster there. He's eight years old, and they had a two forty three, and we were kind of like. Yeah, all right, let's give that a shot. Didn't have a break on or anything, but we're like, okay, cool. And the young gentleman didn't really particularly enjoy shooting. I don't know if that was, uh, like, it was the concussion of the noise and stuff like that or what it was really, but, you know, I mean, something that's, if you can even match that or close to match that in terms of efficiency and effectiveness on game and even less recoil, then you're in a pretty sweet spot. Oh, yeah. It's It's a very attractive cartridge to me. And, and again, looking at... What my initial objective was with the Grendel, I believe with almost all of my heart that the Ark has a better opportunity and a better chance of, of being the cartridge I pick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jim, this is this might shock you. This might shock everybody listening. I'm going to pull the conversation back away from hunting with this cartridge. But weird, we never addressed the Ark, the Ark in the room, which oh, stands yeah. for Advanced Rifle Cartridge. And I think this thing really is an advanced rifle cartridge. In my in my readings as of late, um, it's like a really just small, efficient, light recoiling do all cartridge. It fits, like you said, in the AR platform, but it fits in like an AR a standard AR platform. Mm-hmm. So you're not having to go to like an AR10. So you're getting a, a, a lighter weight rifle, probably overall, right? Um, oh, I've got some other notes here. Um, uh, it's it's and it's saying kind of because of that stuff, like maybe longer firearm life too. There is that is there anything going on there? I wrote that down in my in my readings here. Maybe it was uh, maybe that had to do with the barrel or something like yep. that. Or, um, but good for close and long. Yeah, right. So you've got it. In, you know, depending on what role you're putting this cartridge in, mm-hmm. it's like oh, you've got it in your standard AR. You can do close work, but if you need to do far work, you can do that too. Same gun. Are same, you same in the direction of saying this could be the next the the modern gentleman's two two three five five six? Yeah, I think in a specific role, and that was the intent of design. Um, a, a cartridge that was at home in a single platform that could be used for entry and filling the role that like a designated marksman or sniper would. Right, yep. same ammo. You don't you're not having yep. to buy different ammo. Yep. Um, Less recoil than a three hundred eight. Mm-hmm. In fact, for that matter, it could be even yet again the modern gentleman's thirty odd six. No, come on! In back in the World Wars, the snipers had thirty odd six, and the guys kicking doors with them on grants. Had oh, I see six. what you're saying. Like that, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, um, let's uh, let's so let's look at what you're getting with this cartridge in an AR platform versus maybe like an AR ten. Uh, more uh, more ammos in the mags. Sure. Then when compared to an AR ten, absolutely. Yep, mm. lighter weight. Smaller magazine overall. You hold a, an M110 magazine. It's a very large creature. Um, and then a standard AR magazine is considerably smaller. We got a couple of those here. It's in yeah. The back there. Big boys versus uh, slightly smaller boys. So I don't know, man. It seems like it seems like uh, checks a lot of boxes. I think it does. It's a very neat cartridge. I said I, my curiosity is whatever level is above peaked. Not satiated. Hmm. Above peak. I thought I'd leave this conversation still at eye, le- eye roll territory when it comes to the six arc, but now I'm, I like it. Intrigued? 
I'm very much intrigued, actually. I'm very intrigued. The only thing that I'm hung up on is the bolt face. Explain. It's the same as a 6.5 Grendel, yeah? Yep, which is kind of goofy. What's wrong with that? Nothing for me personally, other than I can't get the bolt action rifles that I want in that bolt face. Oh. Which, so explain that real fast. So we go way back in time to a cartridge called the 220 Russian. Okay. And from that, we find cartridges like the 7.62 by 39, the 5.45 by 39, the 9 by 39. Fast forward a little more, Bill Alexander's like, we should change this and turn it into a 6.5 something or another, along with the PPC line of cartridges. Yeah. That was not a uh, Bill Alexander thing. That was two different guys. Um, and we end up with this interesting bolt face diameter that resides almost exclusively within those few cartridges that we talked about. PPCs, Grendel's, 762 by 39 Russian and its derivatives. Um, now the ARC. Um, we go slightly smaller in diameter. We're at the 223 commonly accepted bolt face diameter. You can't do the things that this cartridge can do with that bolt face conventionally, unless you're going to rebate rims and, and get some interesting geometry on cartridge, which is okay too, I guess. Um, or you go up in bolt face to a 308 bolt face. And then now we've further complicated the standard AR offering and you're like flirting with going to a full frame AR or you just move this to a bolt gun. Now, if I move it to a bolt gun, my interest is still at the 308 bolt face. It's just, it seems easier. I don't know if that's founded or otherwise. It's just the offerings that I can get with this bolt face are limited hmm. for my preference at the moment. A cartridge like, say, the six dasher alleviates that. Got it. These would be very close in contention with each other. Hmm. The Dasher having the standard bolt face. Because you want to get an Antica, right? That would be a nice option. My initial thought was a Model 7 length bolt action. At the time when I was going to get the Grendel up and running, the outfit that was going to build me the action could not do what I wanted. They couldn't do a repeater, but a non-magazine repeater. I don't, I don't want a detachable box magazine. That was present it, like i didn't want an aics pattern mag yeah they're too big they're yeah. loud they're rattly they're heavy true i wanted a hinge floor plate follower repeater yeah for a grendel no go they said no now there are a couple other companies that have come out that have like floating bolt head designs that can accommodate this very easily and i can now achieve my hinge floor plate no sweat I, there's still a thing in my head that says the bolt face is a, like a hitch point but I think it's unfounded. It's just like a weird bugaboo, isn't it? Yeah, but I can buy ammo for this. Whereas like the Dasher, no. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hmm. But it's not the ammo I want to shoot because I don't want to shoot them. Ryan says he's flirting with it, but right now he's dealing with the whole thing where it's like, oh yeah, but it's laugh is funny. Yeah. I'm a f- <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, that doesn't bother me, Jim. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, anyways, it's not anyways. Somebody yelled at us once for that before. Anyway. You don't put the a- S on the end. Yeah. I like putting on the the S on the end just to bother that one person. <laughs> so like anyways. Putting, it's like putting a T and a cross. A crossed? The way. Oh, yeah. 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 That's a bugaboo. Or for all intensive purposes. It's Oh, boy. That one gets me. Yeah. Um, Intense and purposes. Right. I mean, I'm not going to correct anybody, you know. So anyways... Uh, where were we? Six Arc. Six Revo- Arc. Revolutionary. It's pretty cool. Um, little precision rifle cartridge. Just go check it out. Maybe, uh, maybe Tommy Grendel will want one as well. Yes. We call him Tommy Arc. His Grendels are going to grow old and dusty. Mm-hmm. He'll probably want it in a 35-pound gun, too. Yep. He would. Yeah. He would. Uh, are you? Are you the listeners out there? Or do you have a Six Arc? What do you use it for? Do you love it? Are you flirting with the idea of the six arc, like our good friend Ryan over here, and actually me right now as me I too. sit, me and too. Jim? We got three flirters here. Uh, let us know. We want to know. We want to know more about this cartridge. Yes. It All looks right. like a good one. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.